friends and welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am going to show you my easy refrigerated cheese crackers. These are kind of basic. I think the recipe standard is almost the same, but when I put out my other cracker recipe, I had a lot of people ask if they could put cheese in the dough. You certainly can do that or you can just make this cheese cracker and this one's even easier because there is no rolling out. We are going to put it in a log and these are slice and bakes. Let me show you how I make them. In my food processor, I have my, what do you call it, a dough blade in there. <laughs> I have one and a half cups of flour. I am going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you want to put some herbs in here, you can. You can make any kind of cracker you would like. I'm going to put some uh, extra sharp cheddar in here because I love cheddar crackers. But you know what's really good also is smoked Gouda. Oh, I love that one too. I was actually going to make that one too. Then I decided to uh, hold off until Christmas for the Gouda ones. I just wanted to mix all my spices up in there. One stick of softened butter. I want to bring this together into a nice dough, so I don't want anything chilled for my cheese dough. Eight ounces of cheddar cheese. Oh, you know what else I want to put in here is a spot of mustard powder. Mustard powder is an excellent thing to put in here as well. And I'm actually going to do a half a teaspoon of mustard powder. I just want to get the lumps out. Mustard powder with cheddar. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going to put in my eight ounces of cheddar as well. So this can stir into a nice dough. This is so easy to make this cracker. If you don't have a food processor, just do it by hand. It's so easy. Or you could even put it in a mixer. I have all this fancy stuff now, but believe me, I didn't always. When I was in my 20s, I made all this stuff by hand all the time. Okay, mix it until it forms its dough and sticks together. I'm just going to put my dough out here. You can make this log as big as you want or as small as you want. I'll probably do two. You can also use this dough to make cheddar pennies, I think they call them. I've seen them called that too. But they're basically just slice and bake crackers. Okay. So bring your dough together. Okay, I'm gonna refrigerate these guys overnight, but if you wanna make them ahead of time, you can go ahead and put them into a freezer bag and freeze them. You can freeze them in advance up to three months. All right, it is uh, the next day. These are solid. You're gonna wanna slice. You can do a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. If you do an eighth of an inch, they're gonna be super crispy. Quarter inch, they're gonna be crunchy. Just don't go to a half inch. Then they'd be like cookies. <laughs> well, I guess you could if you wanted to. You can do anything you want. Okay. I'm just going to put a few on a cookie sheet and bake them off the rest. I'm actually going to save for when the kids come over. Otherwise, I will eat these. Also, I forgot to say, when you roll these up, you can roll them on the outside with poppy seeds, sesame seeds, pecans, 
um, walnuts, anything that you want on the outside of these. Fresh herbs, keep in mind they do have to bake. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. These are gonna go in the oven anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I'll let you know how long it took in my oven. And here they are. They did take 12 minutes and they are crunchy. And if you want them a little bit more brown and toasty, you can bake them for a little bit longer, but start checking them at 12 minutes, um, especially if you did them thinner. They are so good. You are going to love these, and they are cheesy. Mm -mm -mm. If you don't like salty, cut back the salt just a little bit. Because with the cheese, they are a little bit salty, but so good. These are better than Cheez-Its, I am telling you. So if you like cheesy crackers, you, you have to try these. Easy, cheesy, refrigerator, slice and bake crackers. Yum O. Okay, you know I'm gonna eat this entire plate. Well, maybe not. My husband's gonna come home and see these. <laughs> these are perfect for holiday entertaining. I make them every year for Christmas. I either make them in this form or a cheese puff form. And I don't know if I've showed you <clears throat> the cheese puffs before. Maybe I'll do a video on how I make cheese puffs. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. I make cheese puffs a couple of different ways and I always make them for entertaining. <laughs> These cheese crackers are nice because you can change them up. You can add some fresh herb, you can add some dried herb, you can roll them in anything you want. Poppy seeds, toasted sesame seeds, uh, more herbs, you could roll them in nuts, pecans, walnuts, almonds, crushed, any, whatever you want roll the cheese log in it and then they refrigerate it slice and bake these are great because you can make them way ahead of time and freeze them just like you would do cookies so if you're doing a christmas party holiday party new year's eve party entertaining just a few guests this is something that is really easy make it now stick it in your freezer have it ready pull them out slice them bake them off there'll be no mess when you're doing it Put your, unwrap your plastic on your cutting board, do your slicing, put them on a pan that's lined with parchment paper. Super easy cleanup. I try to look for the easy way and everything. <laughs> anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. There you go.